It's time for some truth telling. It's time to have honest conversations. I started this conversation that said me and my father got into a God dog on knife fight. For what reason? Because he told me that I was a pit bull. He told me how the world would respond. And I was trained in a very specific way to be a very specific thing. When I make the statement that fathers need fathers, what are we teaching our children? How are we preparing our children for this world? Am I giving my sons the exact same trauma that my father gave me? Because you asked me the honest question. Yes, I am. And every day I try to combat these terroristic thoughts that allow strong men to prey upon younger men because we're afraid of competition. We have these ideas that you're supposed to listen to me because I'm an elder. I'm stronger than you. These are all narcissistic, egotistical ways. And how do we improve this? By having sweet strength. Colin Powell said sweet strength. He was one of the most bestest generals in the history of the world. We call him Uncle Tom because he was black in power. That's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole nother conversation. But this man said sweet strength, man. Diplomacy. Try to have a conversation before you drop a bomb on a person. And so just because I'm strong don't mean that I have to use my strength against you. This is to every father in America, a number one if you're talking to a man who is older than you treat that man like your father and if you're talking to a man that is younger than you then treat that man like your brother stop talking down to people as if you know everything man i don't know shit except for i'm trying to survive every day in a world that looks at me as a pit bull crazy world we live in <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going through it i'm like okay uh, he hit every point right there i say man we was talking about how the competition right well it's no communication. So we automatically are conditioned to believe that this person is trying to be one up on me or if I don't win this situation or whatever it may be, then I'm down. But you're not down, man. We're trying to learn something right here. And the way a person communicates, the way a person expresses itself can come across aggressive versus passion. The most powerful companies in our nation, they merge, they synergize. They say, oh, you do that well? Well, we do this well. And now let's work together. But for some reason, men who are supposed to be the economic backbone of this great nation do not see the benefit of working with each other. Do not see the benefit of having this conversation. This conversation for some young men who is having an altercation with their father, go have a conversation. It's about dialogue. It's about understanding what you want. Man, should nobody stand on top of you for any reason? I don't care what their name is. Father, Santa, God, ain't no so ain't nobody supposed to stand on top of you. I get it. It was a young cat I was talking to, man, and the only thing he would say was, they're not hearing me out. You just don't get it. And both parties have to understand that they don't know everything. I don't know everything. I need help. This is me. I need help. But understand, you need help too, and we motivate each other. You know what's so crazy? And, and it's not specifically, but my father came from a generation, if you say, I need help, that's you saying, I'm a bitch. That's right. their reference point. Me saying, I need help. Nigga, what kind of man needs some help? Nigga, why would I help another man? That's a fascinating thought process that's trauma and so right now all i believe in is all i believe in is building if you are a man in america you are a felon if you pay child support if you pay your taxes if you own a home if you serve this nation if you got a dick and two balls man come and do this work because america needs us to do this work and i don't give a shit what no woman has to say because once you stand up man all bullshit sits down for sure man that's exciting to me for sure that's exciting to me. Do you feel that shit? Man, you know why? <laughs> because when I get going like this, if you ain't on this, you're going to get the fuck out the room, for man. Because sure. I'm willing to fight for it and die for it. I'm telling you, man. Come on, man. That's trauma coming Ooh, back. Hold on. Hey, right, no, man. bro. You need a hug for that. That's, you need a hug for that. Raheem, you said. That's, bro, you need, you need a hug for that. That's liberation.